Hello everyone, welcome back to Celasta, Crown of the Magister. I think I'm just about ready to go off on explorations further afield, but one thing I do want to do just before we head out is this has completely bypassed me this entire time, but if your cleric or paladin is wielding a shield, you can right click on that shield and mark it with your deity. And then that can be used as some of the components for some of your spell casting. It's not a perfect system. I know that there's only limited spells you can cast while wielding it. But now we can see that we have more options whilst wielding sword and board than we did previously when we would have to definitely switch to our heavy crossbow to have a free hand for some of the components. So that's a nice touch. Right. I... I think we're going to want to go and see the Major Gate Officer. They will probably be able to give us the easier path to teleporting somewhere closer to the entire destination of our next walk, rather than going out to the front gate and seeing the world map. And then we just have to make the decision about whether to go to the volcano or the lava forest. Um, this is not going to give us an option to see the whole map. So give me a moment. We'll jump around to the main gates. And we'll see what the main map has in store for us. Alright, here's our great big map. Here's the eastern side, Kakeflin, the spy outpost we dealt with earlier. We've got the places we've adjusted to the northwest... And then out here to the southwest, the Dark Castle we've been to. And then it's all the way up here in the barren northwest where no one has ever been. We've never even remotely scouted up to that end of things. So I think possibly the move is going to be teleport to the Dark Castle and then make our way out from there. Or the Fortress of the Shield, although the Fortress of the Shield seems to be enterable from the northeast only so let's go to the dark castle and teleport over there rather than 11 days travel we have 36 units of food but we also have a cleric that can create food whenever we need to so i don't think we're going to be worrying about exhaustion too soon and from up here we learnt by previous accidental mistake I thought, oh, there we go. We can use this thing to get out to the front gates, which is very convenient rather than having to walk through the entire dungeon again. Here we are. Get to the blue teleportery thing, and that will show us the main map again. Yes. Right, so now we have the decision. Lava forest or volcano? Lava forest, cave. This place is a typical badlands area where the greenest nature neighbors rivers of lava and sulfur pits. Volcano, cave. The crown bearer saw a vision of this place, possibly a hint from the crown. Investigate this location. Well, the volcano directly relates to the vision from the crown keeper. So let's go to the volcano first and hope I don't regret this terribly. We'll travel at a normal pace for five days. Let's get to it. And on our next long rest, we'll have Pastel change out her spells. So Pastel, prepare spells. We need to lose. Let's lose aid and take create food. So this will conjure 15 units of food for us. And then we can close that. Now, how do we go about just actually casting the spell? Can't do it here. I don't know if... We need to get to 
okay. Well, we've been surprised by cult fanatics, so we can just use all of our spell slots to make food after this encounter. So that works out quite well. I don't think a few cult fanatics will be too much to deal with. Although that said, you know, we are getting up into the, the real wilds of the Badlands. Are we surprised? We are surprised. Fortunately, our initiative was really good, so we've gotten that out of the way quickly. And they've just, you know, casually run towards us with a death wish, so... I think this is going to be a little bit of fun, don't you? Alright, pastels up first. What do we want to do? Cast spell. So we're going to use our third level spells for create food, although we can use our fourth level spells for that as well. So right now, let's just uh, inflict wounds, the one in front of us. <laughs> Must have hurt. And we have a plus eight to our attack roll with that apparently now, which is just incredible. I'm not even sure how we got to plus eight. We're 15 plus 8, plus 5 wisdom, plus 3 proficiency bonus now. Yep, we are getting really powerful. That's great. Uh, Gothic, I think you know what to do. Just do it very carefully. Death claims you. There's a one shot for 36. Faith, if you would like to just kindly finish this one off. Who needs sneak attack anyway? And then Kite, you've got this. I know you do. Very simple. Right, we'll collect their supplies. Cash. The usual stuff. Lots of holy symbols, Malacan and rosaries. And the daggers and short swords and armor. I'm just going to leave. Pastel, would you please create a bunch of food? We don't need components for this, do we? Nope, just somatic. And I'm just going to have you spend as many spell slots as we can doing that, please. And then we'll probably take a near immediate long rest. We still only get 15 when we cast it in that level of spell slot. Rather than getting 20 on a fourth level spell slot, but... I think that's plenty. Right. Where are we headed? We just need to go back. Can't use this fireplace. Get the party. Back to the teleporter. And now we will have plenty of food for the road ahead. Never will we need to buy rations again. Must remember to unprepare create food as pastel on our next long rest. Very good. Prepare spells. We can lose. Create food. What else do we want? What do we think we actually might use? We've got so many scrolls of Revivify. I don't see us needing that. Between Kite's ability to cast it as well as the Crown Bearer being able to cast it as well. That seems fine. Let's take lesser restoration in case we suddenly find ourselves covered in burns or other such things that need fixing and healing i wonder if most of these tracks are ones that can be discovered between one route and another it says we have 30 units of food i thought we just made like 70 units of food
but hey, the game knows best. Or maybe it's the case that it spoils immediately. Let's test this out again if we get a chance. Let's get rid of lesser restoration, go back to create food, conjure 15 units of food. So you'd think it would last at least four days. Summon magic food ration to the inventory. All right, maybe I'll check the inventory next time we manage to cast it. Question is, are we going to be attacked on the road again? And I definitely can't cast it from this menu. Seems not. Uh, now we have 40 units of food. Now we have 29 units of food. Something fishy is going on. But hey, we're not starving and that's what matters. Warmongers. Alright, we'll have this battle. If nothing else, it will give us a chance to look at how this create food and water spell works in context. And then we can take another long rest before we get into the dungeon. Pastel up first. We've got two on this side and two on that side. At least one of them is surprised. So, cast spell. Let's go with one of you. And we'll take some extra cover because we can. Gothic. We could set tentacles up over here. However, I'm not sure. I guess they're not currently um, suffering penalties on their dexterity checks. Because if they are, then this fireball will almost certainly do massive damage. Well, they both took 32 damage, which is pretty good going. They make their strength save, but are surprised, so we'll have to repeat that save next time. Meanwhile, Faith, if you want to shoot uh, instead, we cannot hide from where we are, but we can probably get somewhere we could hide. Not here, unfortunately. All right, we'll just start raining down on them. Oh, nice move. Damn, these guys got all the strength. Right, kite. We don't want to be getting in for sword and board from here. But what we can do is just get ourselves a little scorching ray going, I think. Yeah, not bad for a kite turn at range. Back to the top of the order. Let's see, we're concentrating, so we don't want to do anything to ruin that. So over here, we can cast a second level guiding bolt, and then if it hits, Faith has advantage. Very nice. Gothic. Why ruin a good thing? I got one HP left after those AoE attacks. And Faith from up here is going to have advantage on this shot, which means sneak attack will trigger. Or will miss. There's that too.
They're getting injured by... Oh, they healed for 20 points, but got injured for 3. That's fine, we can deal with that. Kite, if you would be so kind as to come... Just finish this guy off. Uh, we'll need a axe to do that with. No need to smite when you can see they've got 1 HP left. And we won't use our other attack. We'll just protect Gothic. Nat 1s against Pastel is always welcome. It's nice to be on the much higher armor class train. Not sure why they're rolling with disadvantage, unless it's the darkness. Yeah, Pastel is unlit. They're having as much trouble in the darkness as we might. Of course, we have rings of dark vision and the like for our heroes. Gothic, if you could just nip around here to about there. Keep them coming. 38 damage. Very nice. And they are next to an ally, so this could be sneak attack. Very nice. They are just over there getting bludgeoned to death, which is wonderful. Uh, we do have enough movement to come and kill this veteran. And then everyone else can worry about the others. I think we're going to just ready, ready, ranged cantrip, gothic from up here. What's our biggest damage dealer looking to be? Let's just pop a little shatter on them. Nope, too far away. All right. In that case, they're getting the old magic missile treatment. Nope, we still can't see the target. Alright, in that, that case, we'll just prepare a cantrip. Ha! We might have just lost that treasure forever, but hey. Oh, watch the crit. Yes! Double the dice. So good. And they must have a pittance of health left. And our last arrow. We learned about warlords and veterans. We got the monster hunter achievement. Gothic, you're already over there. Can you stop... Uh, Pastel, can you stop concentrating on this, please? Otherwise, Gothic's going to have a bad time. We've got embroidered silk robes, gems, plate armor, AC set to 18, minimum strength 15. That sounds like something for Kite, does it not? I'll leave the swords. Over here, kite. What have you got over here? Bunch of bolts. Some food is always welcome. More bolts. Ingredients. Scrolls. Bolts. Ingredients. Scrolls. Don't need a short sword. A heavy crossbow. Take the food, take the cash. All right. Gothic, you just picked up something very interesting. Would you please hand that over to Kite? And Kite, you're currently wearing AC 16, no dex bonus, 
Minimum strength 13, disadvantage on stealth for a total AC of 19. If we swap over to this full plate, our total AC goes up to 21 and we get an awesome helmet to go with our giant beard. That's very cool. So now our AC is just absolutely wild. So that's a nice upgrade thanks to this encounter. Pastel, please cast, create food again. And then let me check out what this is doing in our inventory. Enough food for one day created by magic cannot be sold. Stack ties, five of five. So Pastel has at least 30 food just on her person. We'll do that a couple more times. We are near our destination. We'll jump onto this fireplace. Resume our long rest. Yes, please. That would be lovely. And now we're showing us 78 units of food. So I think we're going to be all right. Um, is there anything we want to re and unattune to? We can't be attuned to two of those. So we might as well be attuned to one of those. Strength belt, necrotic resistance, brooch of shielding. Sticky feet web, braces of archery, dark vision ring. 2AC, dark vision ring, ring sigil abjuration protection. All right. That's all well and good. Anything we want to change out here? I think I'm pretty happy with most of this. We'll lose Misty Step because we have Fly. Let's take a Lightning Bolt because we haven't used that yet. That could be fun. Especially, we are going to a Volcano. So I don't think Fireball is going to be that pertinent. I know I've been using it a lot in many and varied of our encounters. But I think Fireball might not be the thing that we need coming up. Anything else we want? Let's prepare Featherfall as an emergency reaction. Kite, I don't think you're going to need a Scorching Ray is an Oath spell, so we can't lose that. Burning Hands is an Oath spell, so we can't lose that. Sure. And Pastel. You don't really have any fiery stuff at all. Let's take a Banishment. Let's see how that might go. We can always change Pastel spells whenever we like. And come morning, we should be at the Volcano. All this right. Is the worst place we've been so far. Indeed, the smell here is awful. We're deep in the Badlands, sure. But there is a gem around here. You never know. Remember the gem of abjuration? The crown signal was just a decoy to find Kitayela. Look, is that an orc totem? All right, well, we will do some exploration next time and try our very, very best not to fall into any of the spicy Fanta. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying this series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.